Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here, and my friend Will Ramos from Guitargate uh, just emailed me and said a Jake Blake, a Jake Blade is on my way. So I'm super excited to try it. I'm gonna put it on this Silver Sky. Um, I've never seen one on a Silver Sky. I'll make a video when I get it, but Will, thank you so much. And uh, he sent me an Umphreys track, Sex Metal, from 32318. He said, I haven't seen many people talk about this one, but uh, this, is a, this is a banger if there ever was one. And uh, Umph is coming to Baltimore this summer. Super pumped to go to the show and say hi to the boys, say hi to all you out there. Hope to see you there. Let's hit the button. Let's learn a little sex metal, see what's happening here. So many cool things. Ah, oh, this is why this is why I love Umph. This is also why I don't really know why they're on uh, the jam circuit that they're on. Although, <laughs> where should they be? Uh, but okay, um, right from the beginning, you got this. You got this uh, open E, palm mute. Sounds like A B D E. So four, five, flat seven, root. Pit, but these are these are hammer ons. The second one, I think, shooting for that nine. It looks like Jake's doing it with his pinky. I can't really do that. Can, but it's better with the third finger. <laughs> Something like that. Five, flat five, four, flat three. Just a killer rip. On the tops. Okay, so check this out. So, so uh, Brennan, I think, goes over. Same thing over a string set. So now on A. Something like that, right? And then Jake. It's the keys in here making it. It's just an evil A minor. You know, it, it. there might be something else in there, but... D. Over a fourth again to D. Oh, that, that. B. 
bitching. Bitching. Such a workout for the right hand. Okay. So, look at Brandon. He's got the... <laughs> so, E. <laughs> Something like that. Then over to A, and then over to D. And over each one, okay, you hear Jake jump to the scale that of the chord you're playing over. So this is not um, key-centered playing. This is chord scale playing, meaning we're, we're riffing in E minor. Then when it goes to A, we're making, we're making melodies, we're making riffs, we're making lines in A minor, okay? And it ends on that A, right? When it goes to D, we're now ripping in D minor, okay? We've abandoned all the nonsense. So he's doing all the tremolo stuff, ends on that high D, and brings back to uh, brings back to E. So we're just moving in fourths. I'm telling you, the keys make this. I love this band. This is such a face melter. Okay, so, so you're back into it. Listen to the two drums. It's so hard to do. Right? Now, all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pick up like the highest note and the lowest note and then just try to add a scale to that and see if we get close. Sounds like E, right? So, so I'm thinking... Right? Then, then, then now we're into D, right? Unison bends. Whenever you're just cruising like that, you know, doing that tremolo picking, you're gonna get tired, okay? And it's and even if you're not like tired, tired, it's always a good idea to come out of something like that with something completely different that just kind of sears, okay? That just sings and sears through the room. So unison bend in D, shooting for the fifth, right? One, sorry, five, major sixth, seven, root. So again, this is D Dorian now, little hint, major sixth. Remember I said there's something a little different in each one of these scales? Could be Aeolian, could be Dorian, could be Phrygian. But you definitely have one, you got a flat three, and even if you're flat five and you got a five in there. <laughs> yeah. I love the two breaks. I'm telling you, Joel is making this track.
Jake has some of the best rakes, metal rakes, in the game. Makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Watch that right hand. So now you got E power chords. What is this? Flat nine, flat seven, root. So E, F, D. So immediately we're thinking E Phrygian. Again, remember I said there might be something different in here. We're just kind of muscling through broad strokes. As I listen through this two or three more times, I'm gonna be pay attention, paying attention to, hmm, are we effing in there? We have sharping in there. You know, does it change in different spots? But this little push to the flat nine, flat seven, it's about as heavy as it gets, right? And just just the groove. If you listen to the groove, you might you might feel like you might be just like dun 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 dun, right? And it's this. And it's this like super tight, clean thing. But I implore you to feel it like a wave. Right? Feel, feel the underlying pulse and not the strictness of the rhythm. And it will set it, it, it will it will set the groove free. <laughs> So this, this little melody in here, you got this. All these little half steps. I'm, again, it's harmonies. This is not correct. But my, my, my initial gut reaction is you got. Right? Something. Right? So like, you got one and five, you got not, flat nine, flat six. Clearly to the flat three there, but the point is, we're flirting with Phrygian. There's the Jake play. I gotta figure that one out. Dude, see, this is why this is why I love this band. Coming from a heavy background, I just, I just, I, I adore unapologetic power grooves like this that are technical, but yet they're also simple and just groove oriented, okay? It's just like, that's that's what it is. Simple, e, e minor stuff, go over to fourth, A minor, go over to another fourth, D minor, and then back to E minor. Each one, your chord scale soloing, not chord, not key center, not chord tone. It is a scale, you're on an island, you're on a silo for that time and that place, okay? And you are burning.
And again, you can go back and forth between the tremolo picking, the unison bends, but you know, give it a little yin and yang, you know, mix mix and match it up. But <laughs> but the drums and the keys, man, it just make it this evil, funky, heavy metal, groovy thing that it just warms the deepest cockles of my heart. And there you have it. So, Will, and everybody, uh, thank you for getting me the Jake Blade. Everybody that made the Jake Blade, uh, forgive me, I, I don't remember your names because I'm doing this ad lib and I don't have your names in front of me. Thank you. I'm excited to put it on this thing. Uh, all the guys in Umph, super excited to see you guys when you come to Baltimore. Um, and that's it, my friends. My friends, if you dig the vibe, hit subscribe. I love you. Cheers.